Uh, the deal is something that accomplishes deficit reduction, uh, permanent uh, pension reform for government employees, and it doesn't raise taxes. And it is consistent with Republican efforts all along to try and replace the sequester with permanent savings that just make a lot more sense. And by having a budget agreement that does not raise taxes, that does reduce the deficit and produces some certainty and prevents government shutdowns, we think is a good agreement. It's also an agreement that gives Congress the power of the purse back. For three years, we keep passing these continuing resolutions, which basically is Congress ceding its authority to the executive branch so they set the priorities. That is not right. That's not constitutional. So we reclaim the power of the purse. We make a statement on behalf of deficit reduction. We finally focus on a portion of the budget which has been on autopilot for years that is in need of attention. And we make divided government work.